Hello, why are they there then? Why? Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? It is good to see you. Um, there we go. That's better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? It is very good to see you. But uh, yeah. Um, so last time on the Le Noir, it crashed, and we just kind of shut it down and went with it. So I'm really interested to see where the hell it's gonna put us. Because, uh, I have no idea. But, <laughs> we shall see, I guess. Um, let's hope we don't have to do the last mission we did, um, again. Because that would really suck. But, uh, yeah, let's go, everybody. Alrighty. I hope we don't have to go back. Honestly, if we have to go back, like, significantly far, or if our save data got corrupted, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna delete every L.A. Know Our video on YouTube. And we're just going to fucking not play the game. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, man. Hmm. No, I wouldn't delete them. I would unlist them. Because, um, only the people who know, know. And, uh... Oh! And they would be in the playlists. Damn it, stop it! You... Please. Ah. There we go. Alright, sweet. Huh. Alright, cool. Uh, that's real small. Can't see much yet. Uh, go over here. Uh, go away. Open you. Close you. That open here. Alright, sweet dude. <clears throat> Please let me full screen. Be an normal game, Eleanor. I guess we do have a window default, so that's why. Okay, sweet. All right, let's hit the magic resume button. See if it works. <laughs> Summer sale on now. Yeah, no kidding. Why is it telling me? Oh, well, I don't know. Dude, the new Steam is really weird. Um, it kind of reminds me of like Windows Seven, but in a way that's good. <laughs> It's kind of nice. There's kind of like some big pluses to it. The setup. Oh. Good. Well, I don't really know how far back this was. Or if it was far back at all. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Mm. Yeah, I guess we're good. Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. Bologna and ham and cheese, please. It's strictly a mugs game. What's up, Violin? How you doing, dude? A plucky it's good to see you, bro. About to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. <laughs> nice. Wow. Let's get a ringside seat. I think that's UVG, but your name is so dark. It blends in with the background so much that I can barely see it. What the hell? Why would it choose that color? That's really weird. But, uh, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing? <laughs> it is good to see you. Man, they have very weird-looking models. Black dude won. Great. They're both brown, aren't they? All right, maybe that's just shitty lighting. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. Huh? God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! I mean, definitely. Step back, LAPD. Hey, right, you uh, hold on right there. I want to check my chat. Yeah, that is V. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had to highlight your name. What's up, VG? How you doing, bro? <laughs> it's good to see you, dog. <laughs> I don't know why that was so dark, but uh, yeah, what's going on, bro? Hey, right. hello. 
What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. That's Who are him? you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? Yeah. We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey oh. bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh. -ho. Well, I mean... He squeezed out the window. Cheating. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. Yeah, prevent actually. him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this. So are we here uh, because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Okay. Which is Hammond's locker? Yeah, I guess he could. We'll buy the pin Second from the end. Hell yeah, bro. That's awesome, dude. Man, I think I think I said this last time, but for me, I I would need uh, infinite pagers mod to get back into payday. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Got scene time. You look troubled. Troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? So we is know no, no, the doctor, doctor is croaky. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the uh -huh. guy a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. <clears throat> Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Mm. Tell me about it, Doc. I mean, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution oh. that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. Oh, Doc, I will so transact broken. to take all the narcotic off your hands. And you can rest <coughs> assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in NFTs projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. That's weird. Some of the most impressive housing units in Second Life you'll ever see in your life. <laughs> Put down object. Cool, dude. I hope. I hope Phelps just like absorbs all that knowledge just by reading that. Just like uh, I see, I see them talking. <laughs> uh huh. Hey. Yeah, that's probably uh. There's a phone number we can run by R and I, plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. <laughs> Any other decent lockers? Not. I wish we could check the other guy's gloves because, uh, well, I know of this instance one time. People like inject gloves with uh, Quicksilver. 
actually mercury. Mer mercury, that's what it is. People inject the, the gloves with mercury to make them, like, way heavier. Why can we even look at that? It's just a window. Um, to, uh, that, 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 Interesting. Which, I don't know where I heard that from. But I just know that for some reason. Huh! Hey! We squeeze it dry. Anything. Is any mercury coming out of it? No? Alright. No, stop it. Alright, we've, we've rimmed the, the room. Middle. Hey, yes. Incidental. Um, I guess that's it. Oh no no no! Touch it. Be another flashback. All right, cool. Let's uh. Wait, what? Do not sit on the floor. Do not, oh, do not spit on the floor. Okay, yeah. Help me out. R and I could trace that phone number. Find out who Jump that line you was talking to before he cut out of here. Yeah, I get it, dude. It's just... Alright. I can't jump out the window. I can't recreate its core. Oh. Wait. It's... Oh, it's just ripping the uh, fabric. There's a quarter or something on the table. Aranda! Sucker, and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. <laughs> I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Oh yeah, please continue. You out of pocket too? Mickey? Seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. Have I, I know met who you he before? Is, yeah. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, hey. I actually need to go that way. Like the other way I behind me, but, uh... back there. Okay. <laughs> Hello, sir. Can you sell me a ham sandwich? I would really like to. Um. Okay. Okay. I need a phone. Roy, please. Thank you. Little shoe shining stations. Okay, can I be staff only just for a second? I need to call. I need to call my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, hey. Ah, rotor drones. Operator, give me R and I. What are you through now? You through now? Oh, the game. The game. Phelps, one two four seven. How can I help, detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is. Damn. Oh. I thought she got it. The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Quarter a night. Sick. Alright, Ray, take us there. I'm not driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah. Where are we going? Let's go, Roy. Teleport last. Bye, Roy. Oh. Hmm. Teleport me, Roy. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stompanato. Stompanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. Haberdasher's. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. Mm. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Hey, he's talking about suits. Ah, uh, wish my job made me uh, walk around in a suit all the time. Sick. <laughs> Wish Dollar General will give me any sort of clothing at all. That'd be rather nice. <sighs> I know Cumbies does. Cumberland Farms. Be 
like at least hats and shirt. Really shitty hat and a really shitty shirt, but still they give you some clothing. Hot water, man. I would love hot water. Um, shirt, not shirt. A sign. Yeah, what do you want? The Antiquity. LAPD. Hey, what's up? We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Who's this Albie Hammond? Couldn't it be Al? Okay, right. so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies. First name prominent, last name Tommies. You got it. Yeah, probably not. Probably. Uh, prominent Tommies. What the fuck is that? What is that? Prominent Tommies. Who in the hell says prominent Tommies? Tommies. Tommies. Uh, Amber Gardner and Tyrone Powder. Power. Uh, take over. Uh, oh, oh my God! Oh man! Edie, Lion, Lion, really a temple. That's the guy from the paper. Solve that big case. All right, well, you know how to do this one. Fuck. Uh. Okay, uh, yep, on over here. Sounds good. Give us the right book, dude. Winston Churchill. Oh yeah, sure. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Man, I really wish I could. Can I look at that again, please? Yes. How how often does Winston Churchill pop up? Once. Uh, yeah, Winston Churchill pops up once. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? I think his name is Phelps. Okay, nice. That poor lady killed near City Hall. <laughs> I thought we had to look for frequent flyers, not just like whatever. Uh, oh, by the way, um, one of these one of these bods that I put up on YouTube uh came up blocked in certain countries. Which is fascinating. I don't know. I've never gotten that error before. So, um, watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I love Winston Churchill and um? Oh, actually, hold on. Speaking of Winston Churchill, um, fucking. Winston Churchill. No, hold on. It's not Winston Churchill, but uh, maybe it is. Churchill. Nazi speech. I don't think it's the right guy. It's, he looks Nazi Germany. Um, hey, maybe, maybe it was. God damn. Winston Churchill. Um, fucking uh, camps. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh. Jesus Christ. What was the Nazi camps called? Um. Winston Churchill. Funny. Funny. Uh. Nazi. Camps. What the hell is the first thing called? Concentration camps. Thank you, Jesus. D 
Damn, was it not fucking... Uh, was it not Churchill? Probably wasn't Churchill. Um, speech. Uh, yes! Yeah, this is it. This is it. This is the shit. Why does it have to be a short in this shitty-ass aspect ratio? Watch. ...that the Germans have set up content that the Germans have set up concentration camps. Anyone, anyone here has been camping? Some of you? Yep, some of you. What's the deal with camping? Spend loads of money to be homeless for a week. Anyway, genocide. <laughs> anyway, genocide. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I mean, I was going to my mom. Go to a concentration camp. I'm trouble concentrating on stuff. Hell yeah, bro. Nice. <laughs> That's good. Uh, man. But, uh, yeah, no, I just, I don't know, well, yeah, no, that's not true. Uh, yeah, spend money to be homeless for a week. <laughs> Anyways, genocide, <laughs> fucking hell, dude. Uh, he seemed like a pretty cool general. I don't know, yeah, yeah, no, I, I get you, I get you. We were all that young one day. I think someone's had a few too many. Um, alright, gold. Door is unlocked. Yeah, the handle's gold, dude. Means we can Looks go in like here. Had a broad up here. What makes you say that? The ashtray? Whoa. That makes sense. Easy. Uh, rotate. Oh. Uh. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Yeah. Uh, yep. The chocolates. Oh, nice. Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. I wish he could just like start ravenously eating all the chocolate. <laughs> uh. Okay. Over here. Instaheat. Why? Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? <clears throat> Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Yeah. It's in here. Ah, lipstick, of course. This angle if he has a real love interest. I do. Make sure to eat the cigarette butt. It will gain its knowledge. If any wielder who last had the cigarette butt. Ah, a big bunch of paper. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Yeah. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Sweet man. Yeah, I wish I had some eleven grand. I'd pay for a couple trips to McDonald's. Uh. Um. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance. Okay. Uh, oh, did a horseshoe. Circumstantial. Means he has a horse, man. Alright, fine. Grab the McDonald's, what? Inflation jokes. <laughs> They're the best. That are the funniest. <laughs> yeah, I don't sweat it, bro. Uh, no, I stick. I stick to the dollar menu. That's for damn sure. Um. Okay. I think like no, my 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 trip to McDonald's is usually three cheeseburgers. Like I usually eat two. I can't eat the third one because it's too many. And I, I'll be able to look forward to one later. One large fry, one chocolate shake. This is, that's the shit. That's the best. <laughs> you know the way. You can drive. All right. All right. Where to? Let's go to Hot. We're here. Let's go to Candy Edwards' address. Yes. 
I haven't had the Grimmer Shake, by the way. I haven't had it yet. Standard training. Uh, I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Ah, a thousand push-ups, Jesus Christ. I don't know how many push-ups I can do nowadays. I know I can, like, at my pinnacle, I think I could do, like, 80. Maybe more. I'm not sure. A thousand push-ups. That's like some, some Saitama shit. Oh. <clears throat> Hmm. We need to know which room is Candy's. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where Candy is? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment. Oh seven. hell yeah. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian yes, guy? Yeah. Sleazy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Thanks, bro. This candy broad must be as sweet as um, you sound. All these gentlemen callers. Yeah, two Big Macs. Hell yeah, bro. It's awesome. <laughs> I love nuggets as well. Damn good. Which which kind of sauce do you like? Buddy, you drop something? Do you believe I'm underweight? Can you believe I'm underweight? Um, actually no, because like I've I've seen some uh. Can I go up here? There's a guy who eats McDonald's every day. Like, God, this is such an old documentary that I watched. He eats McDonald's, like, every fucking day of his, like, life. Like, life. Uh, eats McDonald's every day. And he's, like, he's got these circular glasses. No, no. I'm not going to be able to find him. I don't know. I, I remember, I, wa I think it was, like, a Vice documentary or something. Of like some guy who ate oh shit no I don't want to some guy who ate um McDonald he no he had a Big Mac that's what he did he had a Big Mac every day of his life um and he was just like this super lanky guy uh like he just he just kept it up Honey Mustard Sweet and Sour yeah no I can agree I love Sweet and Sour Honey Mustard's pretty good too but Ooh, Sweet and Sour's dope that. hell yeah you know why am I a real asshole I want you just Okay, so, uh... Slow down. Yeah, it's one of these hotels you have to go outside. Gotta go outside and look for the damn golden... Golden handle. It said last door on the left. Oh, she lied to us. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, yeah, maybe it's upstairs. I Give it up, sounds bitch. like we're missing all he's the fun. Get the in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. Oh yeah, let me listen. I to told this. you I haven't seen him. Okay, so it's a Come on, Rusty. Yo. What's up, big I'm shooter? Woo! This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. It's getting a couple good ones in. Uh, like my stiff arm. Nice. Ma'am. Slap her, Rusty. Whap, 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 whap. How cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Hmm. I can get that. I can get that, VG. Yeah. It's fascinating to see how, like, people's... Uh, like, I've, I've definitely noticed stuff. I, I like stuff that I used to hate now. Um, people's taste buds evolve and change and grow. What's this? Single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Sorry, Albert. What's up, Pez? How you doing, dude? I don't know this shit. <laughs> like that fuck. I'm sorry, bro. Every stream. <laughs> Uh, but it's good to see you, man. How you doing, Doc? Scania sails from New York. Conard Line. That's an unfortunate name. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. V uh, yeah, that's a good point, VG. I would, um... I would talk to your internet people, dude. Uh, they may be throttling you or something. This, this seems this kind doesn't of pertain to the case. Tricked. You know, I was, I was thinking of picking up, uh... Cruelty Squad. Why? 
What are these? Like ear delving? I don't think so. Fine. Um. That's not my go-to joke. It's suck it down, eat it. <laughs> you must eat the fucking evidence. Eat the bottle of nail polish. She's leaving town. What do you mean? I, you don't store your stuff in a suitcase? Um. All right, I guess let's just uh, unzip this guy's pants and laugh at him. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get all this blood on your knuckles? Is that from my face? Yeah, that's that's like what I'm confused about. Um, I don't know how Cruelty Squad is. I don't know if it is truly level-based, or if it's, like, open world. It's just such a confusing-looking game. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I love how, like, that one... I read one review on it. Um, well, I read a bunch, but most of them were, like, one-word sentences and or jokes. Um, one was, like, uh, this game was extremely lovingly made, and it, it's made to... Uh, it's made to look like it's not lovingly made, essentially. Oh, all right, yeah, sure. Yes. Oh, that's cool. All right, I can take that. George, Carlo Ray. here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on the <clears throat> being bookmakers? Bookmakers. Oh, I'm glad he didn't pull that on us. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Or a gun. I mean, wouldn't it be real or more manly to use a knife rather than a gun? So you actually have to like be in danger in order to kill someone, rather than just pull a gun, kill him from, like five. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have kill some him questions from... for you to answer. A long ways away. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? That's a good sure, point. I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Yeah, that's a really good point now that you bring it up. He is just unconscious, huh? And she's like, oh, wow, you had a knife? Ugh. Here you go again. <laughs> Tug it back into his pocket. Yeah, just wake up and, uh,. Knife us while we're questioning Miss Edwards. Where is Hammond? We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Dude. Oh, come on. Yeah, them eyes tell a different story. Uh, can we convict her of lying? Probably not. I think it's just a doubt. Um, bus stop. No. Oh. Hey, yeah, you're lying. Save it for the suckers, Candy. Albert won big. He may not have told you, but you don't strike me as the type who leaves town when there's money to be had. Call me anything you like, Flatfoot. We're done with this burg and all the cheap chiselers who live here. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, great. That's nice. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Oh, Jesus Christ. Harry, Mervyn, or Ray. Uh... Doubt! Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings for him as well? For fuck's sakes. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Dude, you look so awful every time. Doubt! Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. 
Halbert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Okay, that was correct. Great. We know you're a busy lady. Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. The LAPD expects uh -huh. a little more cooperation. You'd better watch your back, sister. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You Why did we let him keep me, him? I'll shoot you like a dog. It. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Like, I don't know what in the hell why we could have pinned her with. Pinned her that with. Or if that was and somehow the truth. Straight for the train station, I smell <clears> her <throat> off. I say stake her out. See where she goes. Yeah, I don't know how that could have been the truth. If it was, but... Like, what the hell. It's just impossible to tell with this damn game. Unless you absolutely know. Tail is broad. Like, you have don't some let her really, away. really good evidence. Spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. Now it's just like sh scraps of paper and shit. Alright, cool. Let's uh try to kill her. Can I crouch? Can I fucking crouch, please? Nice. Guess not. I really wish I could pull a gun at any time. That would make the game so much more interesting, to be honest. Even if I failed a lot. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Skip, 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 skip. Tail is broad. Skip, skip. Don't let her get away, but skip, don't get skip, spotted. Skip, skip, skip. I'll bring up the car behind you. Skip, 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 skip. Oh, all right, it worked. Crouch! Damn. Maniac. Yeah. Okay. She can just see through cars, I guess. <sighs> This game is kind of getting on my nerves. Mm. Oh man, I beat Far Cry 5 as well. Gosh, Tail is man, broad. Try. Dude, Don't I really away, wish. Don't get spotted. <laughs> I'll bring up the car behind you. Uh, uh, indeed, indeed, PG. Yeah, I really, really wish. Oh, we have to do this. Okay. Yeah, sure. It just launches you into this. Okay. Yeah, make eye contact with her while sitting on the bench. Yeah, brother. I really want a game. I want a game that you just have more player freedom. Like Skyrim. Okay. At risk losing the trail. Okay, go. Get up. Get up. Oh yes, yeah, so let's make it X to focus in on the suspect so you can't really uh write at all. Crouch, buddy. <laughs> Waiting for nothing. Yeah, I know. I mean I guess old people. Older people. Like to sit down and enjoy the day. Enjoy the day with their paper. With their paper. Catch up on what's happening in the world, really. Being old as sin. Can I sit down on this? Uh, incognito. Yes. Uh Who was the first game to do the trailing missions? I know Assassin's Creed did a whole lot of them. Gotta get closer. You mean I can see her giant red fucking suitcase, dude? Um <clears throat> But yeah, I don't know what who the first game was to do it, but uh 
8th interest. Oh yeah, anyways, I finished Far Cry 6. And I think it's a good game to, to screw around on. When I'm talking to chat and stuff like that. If I want. Come the fuck on. Please, begin me at the start of the level. So I have to do that whole damn thing again. Nothing. Okay. Let's go. So we know where when she looks behind her. Yeah, the streets are pretty scant of like benches and stuff like that. Also, that's a new feature of uh Ever since the COVID patch on uh our fucking um Matrix world. Uh benches aren't a thing anymore. Like the devs just removed benches from Walmarts, from all kinds of grocery stores, from pretty much everywhere. There's just no benches anymore. It's like, why? Why? Why are benches bad for disease? Even if you're sitting alone on a bench, it's just like, no, no, no. Alright, dude, I can see you from way over here. So I have the power of eyesight. Just nondescriptly walk across the road. Honk, honk. I want to look at chat. I see it moving in my peripheral vision, but I also want to maintain direct eye contact with this chick's head. Uh. Sounds like much freedom things. I guess so. Oh, really? You guys have benches still? That's pretty dope. Yeah, because, like, I don't know. Um, I really don't understand. For fuck's sake! Oh, this is so bad. I almost said a bad word. Oh, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, how do you not see me? Alright, great, so cool. Wrenches and four. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> uh, um, oh, hmm. Crouch, Cole. Crouch. Okay. Oh. You know, I might. I I think I. I remember you could get a character in uh, Watch Dogs Legion. That game that's not really a good game at all. Don't look at it. Don't buy it. Um. You can get a character in Watch Dogs Legion that has, like, an incognito ability, so he can, like, just whip out a dust mop and start dusting wherever he is and blend into the environment and, like, avoid cops and stuff. Um, but, uh... Got it. Uh, I doubt you guys have just more benches, really. This is really click for me. I press X to doubt. But who knows? Uh. Uh. I mean, yeah, you have more benches than we do. That's for sure. But like, I doubt they're just like, yeah, all right, COVID's relaxing. Let's uh, let's crank up them benches, buddy. <laughs> we need more benches. <laughs> Thank God. Bookmakers. <laughs> but it's just the same. Surprise! Surprise! Oh, I thought the bookmaker was just like slang or something. Uh. That's the one. About a week ago, this guy murdered his wife and dumped her. Oh. Stop talking about the cop who did it. A woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much did she collect? Thirty-six hundred dollars. <laughs> she cleaned me out. 
on the Hammond Kid Galahad fight, you got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Racing. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Uh, okay. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines. Honestly, I can only think of the Walking Dead part where um, Clementine shows us how to do this with leaves. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, I'll consider your. Yeah. I'm out for the first try. Yeah, that ain't happening. I don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I still, to this day, have no idea where fucking Poland is. Um, it's on the right. It's on the right. It's on the right side of the map. You know where she's headed. Let's get moving. <laughs> Tell you that. Ah, uh, cool. Um. Have more benches than we had. <laughs> I doubt you would, like, Take the time to notice, like, ah, yes, look at all our benches. Now we just have a shitload of benches, bro. <laughs> it's like noticing where every, like, socket is, like, where every plug is in your house. It's, well, I mean, yeah, you might know your house, but, like, it's like walking into a random building. You're like, ah, yes, look at all. I, I count six, 12 plugs by the fifth room. Yes. All right. That's a lot of plugs, though. Uh, um, okay, I guess, yeah, these are gold, and we can get through them, but, uh, doesn't really lead to anything. Alright, Rusty, uh, Rick, uh, whatever the fuck your name was again. Hi. Ah! So what next? We you drive me next to the drugstore. Candy will be in a hurry now. Yeah, yeah, we gotta kill her. We gotta take her chins. Hammond backed himself to win. Attention to change. And Candy is picking up the winnings. I guess so. Smart play. Some people do. The question yeah. is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Car 11 K 11 King. Further to your request, Bunko Fraud. Well, yeah, no, that he say that, yeah. Operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGPL clear. Thanks. But, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, now that you say that, I suppose I have noticed a lack of benches. I haven't, I'm like, oh, yeah, look at all these fucking benches. It's crazy. At any point in my life. I was like, I just took them for granted. I'm like, yeah, look at the bench. But every time I'm, uh, like... I help my mom shop sometime, and she's uh, pretty arthritic, so she just needs to sit down every once in a while. And uh, the only fucking place they have uh, benches is the goddamn changing room. So I just need to take her there every time. Detectives Phelps and, and Earl, annoying. LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn. Sure did. Sure did! I was just about to close up, she took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did you leave? What Maybe happens? five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. <laughs> God, over there by the phone. How do you get that level of voice? I guess smoke like 12 packs a day and you'll have that voice. Um. Hey. Yellow cab club. Yellow cab. We need to get after her. Fast. Sick. Yeah, I, I thought about, well, I never thought about, like, taking one to, to, to the, um, to the store. But, yeah, that's a good idea, I suppose. Um, I remember I bought one a long time ago for, when I used to do Airsoft, because, like, we would just stand around for ages for no reason. Um, 
deciding things. I'm like, yeah, fuck this. I'm getting my own chair. I hate sitting in the snow. Me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Grown men playing at being boys. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Yeah. I suppose you could, but usually I only have bags if I'm, like, you know, leaving. But, uh... I, I suppose if you're one of those people who bring their own bags to the store. Yeah, you could just totally do that. Alright, dude. Uh... Take me to the bookmarks store. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. <clears throat> I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. What are you doing? Continue your conversation, please. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake. Okay, or interrupt yourself. I just want to bring your own bags. Save money. That's, That's the cab right. waiting up ahead. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Don't get too close. We're just lazy. She must be inside. Well... I don't know if you save money. I don't know if you save money by bringing your own bags. It's kind of... I mean, if we did actually save money, then yeah. Um, I would, uh... Again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. Alrighty. Don't lose her. Urgh, stop the car! Stop the car! <laughs> Swerve up onto her. God damn it. Alright, fine. Um, yeah, I don't know if you save money by bringing your own... You definitely create less waste, that's for sure. Um... But we do we do collect all the bags like when we're done we uh we recycle them most of the time. That's the cab waiting up ahead. Ugh. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. Yeah 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 yep 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 yeah. <laughs> Twenty cents for the bag. Damn, really? No, it's just it's just like a given. Again, Cole. After her. Like you don't, don't have to lose that cab. I think in Vermont you have to pay for uh you have to pay for the bags. But in New Hampshire you just kind of like the bags are given. Can you quit driving like a jackass already? Nope. I'm being a detective. <clears throat> How many stops is she going to make? At least 12 more. Hey, the cab driving on the sidewalk. Hammond is full of himself. Being no mind. Sure gonna win. Car. You full pounds are a liability on the road. Can we try not to kill anyone? That's something I can't afford, there, Rusty. You better not get blood on this car. I turn on the great idea, Cole. <laughs> yes, if you turn on the siren, you just fail instantly. That's awesome. Um. <sighs> but yeah, no, honestly, if oh Jesus Christ, I think it would be a good idea though to have people have to pay for the bags because it would like naturally people would That's just gravitate to. Uh, She's not in the car. Don't get too close. Having to do. She must be inside. People would gravitate to having to bring their own bags, and it would create far less waste, I think. Because that shit adds up quickly. So, yeah, I could see that We're being. We're on the move again, benefit. Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. 
Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive. Alright, dude, don't talk about this being your car because it makes me want to turn on the siren. Because I doubt you in every single fashion. Hey, yep, yep. she gonna make? See, a lot of people don't know, but if you drive on the sidewalk, it's like the incognito, incognito road. Like, no one will pull you over if you're driving on the sidewalk. Or be suspicious. Practically invisible. Spooked him. Back into traffic, Phelps, now. What? What about traffic? I miss that. Are you trying to mow them down? You should be locked up. You shut the fuck up, Rusty. You just shut the fuck up. Way to set an example for the public, partner. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. This isn't Chicago. What the hell? You can't say that. You're doing this on purpose. Yes. Yes. You are utterly correct. Oh no! 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 Why? What are you, you did not just do that. What are you talking about? Are you on the sauce or what? That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Side officer. You can see these people, right? God damn it. Everyone's looking at us, Cole. I'm nearsighted, bro. I'm sorry. That's true, actually. I am nearsighted. <laughs> Oh, all right, sick. Pull over. She's heading inside. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could bring her back back to uh, Walmart with a folding chair inside of it. That's a good point. <laughs> I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Oh my God, the longest fucking trailing mi tailing mission I've ever played. Rugged, buddy. Going to church doesn't make you any more Christian than standing in a garage makes you a car. Wrinkled was not one of the <laughs> I like that. Idiot. Fucking sit down! If you left click to go incognito at a chair, Cole just doesn't do anything at all. Pull over. He's <sighs> heading inside. This is a bad mission. This is a bad mission. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay uh, with him. Make sure you yeah, don't let her see you. Sure, I'll stay with fucking Candy. You're a real asshole. You know that? Thanks, man. You too? Question mark? This guy's got a screw loose. I guess sitting next to someone makes you an asshole and then talk out loud about how he's fucking insane. Hell yes. Yes. She got her just desserts. Roy. Nice. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he, he said, oh, now you don't want to lie to me? Oh. Was it Albert? They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split. He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Who cares, Phelps? She lied to us twice out of three. So I'm not worried about it. Who would be? Nice. Why would you leave your gun behind? Seriously. Thirty-two caliber. One shot fired. Oh, yeah, cool. Oh. 
Let's see what's in this verse here. Extra absorbent tampons. Egyptian theater. 